Let's make a pencil this time. So my coworker has been telling me for well over a year that she was going to want a pencil for her son's teacher. I've always been terrified to try it, but here we go. So the colors I'm gonna use, eraser will be cotton candy. The band will be burlesque. Let's turn this off. The body of the pencil will be You Are My Sunshine. The wood will be Nala. And the base, or excuse me, the lead will be Skellington, but we're gonna put a little sparkle in here. Probably white wedding, but maybe just cosmic. Uh, this one does turn matte under epoxy. Anything kind of close to these colors will do the job. If you want to get real fancy and make a Ticonderoga, you could do green or whatever, but this is going to be your standard number two pencil. So what I'm going to do, I've got this base coated, obviously white. I'm going to do a little bit of acrylic paint all around or all for my base. I've had a couple of cups that I didn't do the base color that would be somewhat close to the glitter color. And I just end up with these spots that it just drives me nuts and I have to do repair. So I'm gonna put this gold where the wood will be, just because that will go really well with that. This under the pencil, actually the eraser, I can't talk. I'm going to do this bright yellow under here. Doesn't have to be a perfect match. And then I'm gonna do black under the lead. And then I just need to find my gray to go underneath the silver. I think black is gonna be too dark underneath it. I originally thought I wanted to do that, but I've changed my mind. So I'm going to just quickly do a little mark off of what I want where, a little zigzag here. I don't want a huge lead, so I'll probably go to about right here uh, for my black. A little zigzaggy there for the wood, yellow, silver, pink. There we go. So I've got my proportions here figured out. So what I'm going to do to make this easier on myself is go ahead and mark the circumference because then I'm going to use electrical tape to mark off the spot. So I am just holding this steady. It is not showing up for me, man. Just holding it steady, letting it rotate. It doesn't have to be a perfect line right now because I'm gonna tape it off. It just needs to be something I can see. That's all that really matters. And any kind of marker will do really. Whatever will show up. This definitely <laughs> emphasizes how unsteady my hand is. And how, for some reason, my turner is like super shaky. What the heck is going on? So the only part I can't do that to is right here for the zigzag. And I'll actually measure this and then cut vinyl if you do that, make sure to warp it uh, or use a vinyl that you can kind of stretch and manipulate. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of lay that right there so that I can paint. And I'm going to do this for the pink and also for the black because those are the ones I'm going to paint first. There's all kinds of ways to do this. I am positive that this is not the easiest way to do this. But in my head, this is what I can make work. So that's what I'm going to go with. If this particular process is too many steps, there are other ways for sure. So definitely do a bunch of YouTube tutorials because you'll find somebody that does it the way that's going to work best for you for sure. Uh, I watched one the other day with um, Mendorella. I like her. She runs a good group too. 
Tumblr tutorials and more. I like her group. Um, they definitely have a little bit more positive vibe. Okay, so I'm going to now paint this pink and this uh, black. And then we'll be back for the next part. Let's try something else, just for giggles. Let's use the acrylic paint as our glue. I've got this on here pretty good. Maybe just a couple of little spots, but very minimal streaks there. So let's grab a fresh parchment and our glitter. Got to thinking about this, I'm like, I'm literally making double work for myself, and that is so not smart. Hello? Let's just do that. Cotton candy. I'm going to need a fresh paint, a fresh layer on the black, but that's okay. This way, I can go ahead and pull off my tape just as soon as I'm done. Smarter, not harder, and I am making a mess. It's literally going off. Why do I always do that? You'd think I'd learned my lesson by now. <laughs> Clearly not. Yeah, so nice and thick in some areas because there are some spots that are a little thicker. Yeah, there we go. So now we'll just do a quick little once over on the black and do the same thing. Let's go ahead and pull up our tape though. Come on, there we go. I'll seal this with hairspray before I do the next color, the silver. I don't know what I was thinking for a minute. So now let's throw a little bit of black. <laughs> Man, I'm really messy today. My paintbrush just rolled right over onto the pink paint. Just a nice little coating on here. This black definitely is covering better than the pink did. That's nice. I don't know if you can hear it, but the wind is howling right now. There's a huge storm blowing in, I think. We're supposed to get down into the freezing temps tonight, so I definitely will not be doing any epoxy today. Tonight, I should say. Yeah, that's great coverage there. Just a little bit more on the bottom. I missed a spot. Yeah, that's really great coverage. I'll put this on here while I pour this back in. When I do my final coating, I'll throw Cosmic in there. For the real glittery ones, It'll camouflage, you won't really notice that it has cosmic. But for this black, it'll make all the difference on that um, shimmer. Because this, like I said, will turn black under epoxy. It'll look like tar under epoxy. It's already black, whether it's in epoxy or not. <laughs> Alright. 
So that's where we're gonna leave this for the moment. I'm gonna give this overnight to dry. I'll be back out tonight, uh, tomorrow night. I do have a couple of little spots that I really want to touch up. So I'll do those as well uh, when it's a little drier. I'll just spray it with hairspray and then sprinkle right back over it. I almost forgot to record this step. I'm sure everyone could have figured it out anyways, but here we go. So I actually did two layers of silver paint. I did one, let it dry, and then I went over it real thick for this round here. I sealed this pink with hairspray. So after this is completely dry, I'll dry brush it. But I don't wanna do that until I know for sure that this is good to go. I'll dry brush off anything that got into the pink. But I'm saving myself a good bit of hassle by trying not to get over it intentionally. I didn't mention earlier, we're going to tape off here and here and there with uh, either, you can use washi tape, you can use foil tape. I have a really huge supply of nail tape that's super thin, but I also have these. Um, these are just paper studio foil tapes over in the uh, washi tape section. I've got silver, I'll use that right there. I may use my nail tape, it depends. I've gotta see what all colors, I haven't opened that package yet, but that's what we're gonna do for the moment. Let's dump this back in and take that tape off so that I don't accidentally peel up my paint and glitter once that's too dry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sometimes this is really messy. Okay, so that's where we are. We're gonna let this dry overnight. I know I said that on the last time, but I actually just dried it with my heat gun so that I could go ahead and do this step tonight because I'm impatient. It's okay. It's a character uh, flaw. <laughs> so I let this dry. I'll dry brush that. I'll seal both of those. And in the meantime, I'm also going to measure this, figure out my taper, and do my zigzags. I'm ready for the next step now. So I've already gone ahead and put one layer of the yellow down just because it, it needs more than one on some of these colors. No big deal. So I just use this. It's really old, but it does the job. I've got my zigzag decal. I've got it warped. Hopefully I did it good enough. We're about to find out. So I'm gonna do my best to get this on here as straight around as possible. Now, <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Okay, try that again. So I'm going to try and get it on there as straight as possible. And I know that I overshot on this part, but that's okay. For what we're doing, it's totally fine. So just kind of around. I'm using removable vinyl just to make it a little easier on myself. Because I, I don't want to struggle getting regular vinyl off of there. I guess the disadvantage to this is that it kind of tears fairly easily. The silver will hide this overlap pretty good. Maybe not perfectly, but pretty good. Okay, so that needs to go that way. I didn't get it too far off. Not horrible. It doesn't really have to be perfect, partly also, because when you sharpen a pencil, they're not perfect. Kind of jaggedy around. Not really symmetrical. All right. I'm not worried about it laying flat on this side of it. I'm only really worried about that side. 
I've got a different paintbrush this time. The other one was just a little too floppy. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, that's pretty good. The glitter is going to hide a lot of those flaws there. I'll actually just use this from my paint palette. I'm going to do this in little sections too because it's so big I don't really want it to dry out. I'm going to do the hardest part first. Nice and thick. I'm not worried about that little paintbrush hair right there. It's not really going to show. And if it does accidentally end up showing, I'll cover it with the decal. It should be good. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to go over these little seams right here where the colors come come together with um, tape of some sort, washi, nail tape, whatever. Some people are amazingly steady handed at just using thin strips of vinyl. I am clearly not that person, as I just proved. That's how big of a space I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and sprinkle that. I should have used a little bit darker yellow glitter or a brighter yellow paint, but that's okay. It still gives me the look that I'm still going for. I'll just do another layer. After this dries completely, I'll throw some kind of spray adhesive like spray uh, hairspray like I did before or some other kind of spray adhesive. So I'm just going to go around this a little bit more or the rest of the way around, I mean, uh, and then continue, finish it up. And then I'll do another layer to get it a little bit more intense on the glitter. And then we'll do the Nala, the wood grain right there. And then that'll be it. And then we're going to seal it like crazy. That last little step right there is just going to be all hand paint and sprinkles. Another tip, if you have a pretty good hand at, at painting and you can get it without all the brush strokes, you could do like a cheat style glitter, like a translucent or opal glitter or something. That's another way that people do some really cool designs, but um, not have to worry about finding every single glitter that they need. So just a thought for that. So we're going to finish this up and we'll be back. So here it is in all its completed glitterness. Um, it's got flaws. I'm not stressing about them. By the time I get the glitter, I mean, excuse me, the foil tape in all the edging, I think it's going to hide every flaw that I'm worried about. So not stressing at all. So that's what we're going to do um, next. Uh, no, we're not. We're going to epoxy next. I have sealed this with clear coat like my life depends on it. This freshest color here has not been sealed like these other four colors have. So I'm worried about this one migrating a little too much into the yellow, into the black. Probably wouldn't make its way all the way up here, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. So 
after this spray paint completely dries, I'm going to do another layer and then I'm going to epoxy, get it nice and smooth, and then I'll do my tape, uh, the foil tape. There's a couple of spots that I might still go ahead and use the fingernail tape as well, but I think I'm mostly going to stick to the foil tape and uh, it should hide my couple of flaws that I have. Like right here, it didn't quite catch the glitter into the paint like I thought it did. So no big deal. So I'm going to put Cosmic in my first layer of epoxy here. It's a super fine glitter. I use it on a lot of stuff. This will look like tar underneath epoxy. It's already matte black now. It's going to look even worse underneath epoxy if I don't add a little bit of glitter. It's got a couple of pieces from these other times that I've kind of sprayed it off. But it's not quite consistent and it's not enough. So going to spray paint that, epoxy it, and then I'll be back to show you uh, what it looks like. So here we are. I've already got the bands here, here, and here. Those were just normal run-of-the-mill circles around the, the cup. I did not record those because it was just not really all that amazing. I do have my seams here so that I can keep a close eye on those. I'll run a thin layer of UV resin over these before I do anything else uh, just to make sure I don't run into any lifting whatsoever. So I have my ugly spot right here that I really want to make sure that I pay special attention to. So I'm going to do this first and then continue around my cup. Come on. <clears throat> you can either finish it here or go right below, whichever. If I was to cut here, I would want to put my tape, I would want to cut it just a little short and start my tape here and go that way. Whatever works for you. There's not really a hard and fast must have way of doing that. So I'm going to do that all the way around. I'm stoked. So I literally just use the same direction, bottom, bottom, all the way around. I just duplicated the exact same movement for each little cut there. I do need to make that piece lay down better. So what I'm going to do is a thin layer of UV resin. Just regular UV resin. I've got my UV light on standby. Doing that helps it not lift. I have no patience. I don't like having to wait for my vinyl to really, really adhere to my epoxy. So a couple months ago, Ren had posted in one of the groups to do a thin layer of this, cure it, and epoxy like usual. Amazing. That's what I've been doing all day so that I can really just knock them out quick. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm not going to record that part because I've done that in lots of other videos and I feel like that's redundant. So that's it. Quick recap. Base is pink eraser with cotton candy. Silver is just regular metallic stir silver sterling with burlesque. Yellow is basic yellow. You are my sunshine. Wood, just brown with Nala. And the final is black with Skellington. And like I mentioned earlier, this does not have any kind of sparkle to it under epoxy. So I threw Cosmic in that first coat. I had a few stray glitters from, I think this one, but the Cosmic really made the whole thing kind of more consistent. So that's all that there is to that. I'm going to UV resin that, and then I'm going to epoxy, let it cure, hand it over. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment. I'll try my best to answer. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing. Have a good one.